Hey, family, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, I want to welcome you, welcome you, welcome you to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. Okay, I'm not going to be on here very long, family. And today, I just come to speak from my heart. And hopefully, some of y'all will get it. I'm, I'm about to go to wash. I got all my clothes and stuff ready, so I'm pretty busy this morning. But I got to get um, a video in. And because this is something that has kept me up pretty much all night long. And um, not just because of the shootings that happened in New Zealand and in Parkland. I mean, just the last, you know, years of all this terrorism stuff. And, you know, the ushering in of the terrorism starting with 911. Um... What I really want to talk about is uh, dementia. Right now, my mother is in a third stage of dementia. It's very challenging for me. My mother is 83 years old, um, and as y'all know, that I am a survivor of both narcissistic mother and a histrionic mother and a narcissistic father. So um, I have those personality challenges. Uh, demons that I work on from being raised by these individuals because I come from a two parent household so I had a double whammy of madness um, and all along with the religious dogma and all of it and and because my mother is suffering dementia right now you know it's there I have a lot of mixed emotions that's going on uh, about how I feel um, and her and her condition but one thing, my mother is a, is a edu was an educator, just so y'all know. Um, she's got accolades from the mayors, the governors, and she's traveled all throughout pretty much the states and abroad um, in education. I'll just leave it like that. And with that being said, uh, to see her now in this challenging state of the onset of dementia where she barely puts words, sentences together the way they should. She repeats the same things over and over again. And, you know, it's real difficult for me. No. Even some of the things that I've experienced with her. And uh, it's still difficult uh, to watch your mom deteriorate. So I'm sure that there's a lot of y'all out there. And listen, I want to forget about y'all party affiliation because right now it doesn't matter. We're Americans right now. And this is what I want to speak to. Whether I like it or not, whether I was brought here, whether I was kidnapped, this is the only country I know. Um, the only country I've ever lived in. Right? I've visited a lot of countries. But this is the only country that I call home. And what I'm seeing now is people who are willing to, they don't care what Donald Trump does. They are willing to continue to support him, service him, um, in spite of the treason, the corruption in spite of the 8,000 lies that he's told in, in a, basically a short period of time, uh, they've counted over 8,000 lies. Um, and he he's a poster child for a personality disorder along with dementia. I can't be the only one that's seeing this. Those of y'all out here who have expertise in the mental health field, those of y'all who work in it, those of y'all who are around people that are demented, y'all know y'all see the signs on Donald Trump. Y'all know that this guy is not stable. That if I defy any one of y'all, I know y'all the master of the liars. But if anybody could sit there and think that the whole American public now needs to be subjugated 
spectrum, this mental illness, and be fine with it, I shudder to think, you know, what the hell is left? There's nothing left. Y'all want to talk about Farrakhan? He was definitely right. We're going to hell in a handbasket real quick. Real quick. Because this is becoming a fascist party. It's the fascist party. He, this guy is talking about he's got the bikers and he, so now he's going to threaten people. He wants us to feel like that if he gets out of office now that he's going to do something. And then you really have a back, a, a, a group of people that think that's okay. You have a group of Americans that are so stupid that they'll follow this damn man off a cliff. And I wish that he will go off the cliff and take them with him because there's no room for no nobody like that. Anytime you have somebody that can shoot up a mosque, do these type of things, and honor white nationalists and white supremacy, and then have your president say that there's good people on both sides, never wanting to condemn the dirty acts of people killing one another, for no reason. Killing kids, women, and children. Bombing people. See, the Bible speaks of the great blood shedder. And Lord knows, white people, y'all it. Whether you like it or not, you're the great blood shedder. This is insane. And so now you see insanity right before you. You know, in the White House, they have people that observe Donald Trump's behavior. And they're... That's why they walk around talking about Amendment 25, because this man needs to be impeached on the mental health violation. He needs to be impeached. Forget about the party. Forget about whether he's stealing money. Forget about all this other stuff. We are in bed with a mad, mad man, a man who was totally unstable. Everybody know it. It's not like Donald Trump is a spring chicken. He's in his upper 80s, 70s, right? Okay, so he has signs of dementia. What y'all gonna love? At least, I mean, just like Ronald Reagan. The man had Alzheimer's, and you white people let him sit up there and run the country knowing that he was a fucking insane. He couldn't think straight. Is this what you're gonna let happen with Donald Trump? You're gonna let him sit up in there and tear this country apart by the shreds. Because you're not men enough and women enough to say enough is enough. I don't care who you have in the Republican Party. It doesn't matter. But to have somebody that's totally insane and for you to get behind them, rah, 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 rah. And all of a sudden this country is divided and have there is no love. No way. And y'all want to say that's okay because, oh, he's a Republican. Oh, he's changing stuff. Oh, my business. <coughs> you people are corrupt. And anybody that stand with him is corrupt. It's corrupt. I got no conversation for you. There's nothing reasonably you can tell me if you can sit down and be okay with a man that tells 8,000 lies, that grab women's vaginas and brags about it, that solicited prostitutes and, and screws prostitutes while his wife is pregnant. <laughs> uh, you got the nerve to kiss the flag? And call basketball players or football players or anybody that want to speak out on injustice sons of bitches? And y'all okay with this? Y'all okay? Well, I'm not. Donald Trump needs to go. He needs to be taken down on a 5150. Because the man is out of his mind. And I defy all of you psychiatrists out there to test me and tell me I'm lying. The man has got a serious disorder. You know it. The whole damn country knows it. Now, who's going to be men and women enough to stand up and say, okay, he got to go. I'll see y'all in the next video.